I'm Michael Burton, Good Nature Organic Lawn Cares Mechanic. Today we're going to go over a general tune-up on your average walk-behind lawnmower. The first thing we do when we get our customers' lawnmowers in is we fire them up, make sure they run, make sure all the functions work, your recoils in good repair, your cables are in good repair, and make a general assessment to see if there's any parts that are worn out or need repaired, such as your wheels, your lawnmower blade, possibly a carburetor that's gummed up and not allowing the lawnmower to run smoothly. The first step we do when the mowers come in, being as it's fall and they're going to be sitting for a few months before use, is we drain the gas. So everybody knows where your gas cap is. You remove that. And I usually use a siphon and an OSHA approved container to put the used gas into. What you want to do is make sure you're in a well ventilated area. There's no open flames around you. And that you have proper container to put the fuel in and also uh, Getting rid of the fuel when you're done with it is also important. We want to make sure we're environmentally friendly and we're taking care of and disposing of that correctly. So draining the gas with a siphon pump is basically just siphoning using the hand pump and going ahead and draining the used gas out into the proper container. The next thing we do is we drain the oil. Now there's several ways that you can go about doing this. You can use what I have, which is a Midivac fluid evacuator, which is basically a pump for removing your oil. So you would take out your dipstick, which is similar on your car. <laughs> and you basically install the tube into the dipstick hole and make sure that it's buried in the bottom if you were using this method. And then you basically use the hand pump to go ahead and start sucking out the oil. Interested in doing your services at home? There's a drain plug on the bottom that a 3 8 ratchet with an extension or the blade off out of the way you can get at. And then you can turn your mower back down on its wheels and drain the oil into a pan. Again, this is a little bit messier and it's a good idea to have some cardboard or oil mat down on the ground to absorb any of that mess that may hit the ground. The next step on the tune-up is our air filter and our spark plug. So I'll go ahead and remove the air filter from this mower which I'm using a ratchet and a socket. Most of the mowers will have where you can use a fill-up or a straight blade screwdriver to take that off. The air filter on this mower, as you can tell, doesn't really need to be changed. I may blow it out with compressed air just to clean it up. When your mower is in for a tune-up at Good Nature, 99% of the time we put a new filter in during the mowing season. Next, we would remove the spark plug, but you also need a ratchet and normally a 13 16 socket. The reason why you want to change your spark plug is, is it gets carboned up. You get a lot of fuel and oil residue on it, much like a car. Although on a lawnmower, it happens at a much quicker rate. So replacing the spark plug normally once a year is a good idea and also prevents future reliability issues with the lawnmower. And we reinstall our new spark plug. When putting the new spark plug in you want to make sure that you get it tight 
as the engine has a lot of compression and a loose spark plug can potentially blow out of the engine and cause damage to the cylinder head. So you want to make sure you get that good and snug. And replacing the boot, you want to make sure that it's firmly on so that way that there's a good connection and there's no chance of it falling off on startup.